So I think the big thing for you is when, when the ball starts sitting down a bit, see, I'd be setting up much more like this. I'd be down the grip. I'd be opening the club face a bit more. You have it dead square as well. Okay. It helps you. So I'll be opening up the face and I would be, see the, see the width of the stance is wider and I'm leaning forward. I'm really getting that left foot out and I'm leaning this way. And just by the very nature of setting up to it, my chest bone now much further in front of the ball, from this setup with a bit of shaft lean, that's going to encourage me to set the club a bit earlier. Okay. But if I was to set up like you, I kind of want to go wider, yes. which is a shallow in. Right. Okay. Understand shallow in and steep in the ingredients. Yeah. And when okay. you need to add some in and take some out. So basically you've got to get a little bit steeper. Um, and then you can start to play around with different releases. I mean, the safer release once from the rough really is, is a, what I call a release one, which is where basically the, it finishes here, where the butter grip's pointing at the hip. Um, but if you wanted to release the club a little bit more, you could do, but you've got to do it from this position, not from this position. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. So, yes, yeah, so this would be me here, a little bit of hinge. I can pop down and get the height, you see, and I can throw it right up there towards yeah. the pin. Now, if I wanted to come out a bit softer than that, I could do the same thing, and then I can just a little bit more release into okay. it and you can see that then comes out softer yeah see they're the ones that i struggle with yeah the softer landing yeah out of a tricky spot like this yeah so um, so to get it out because it's a bit more advanced obviously if the lie was perfect we just set up for a normal soft landing shot okay, okay. in terms of how you set it up to it quite shallow releasing it the lie is dictating how you play this shot yeah. the lie is the most important thing so we read the lie we get steeper at address and then from there we can add a bit of releasing but i think if you do it from this position I think you're going to find it a lot easier. Okay. And 54 is fine. I don't mind a 54, okay. particularly when you've got a bit of green, but just open the club face a bit. When you're playing in the rough here, if you have it square, the rough is quite thick here, it's going to tend to want to yeah. grab it. And so that's I would, that feeling at the bottom. I would open yeah. it just to give you a little bit of margin. So if it does slip, it's still going to be square. But also what I would do here, just to protect against the rough grabbing it, is grip it a little bit tighter, really in, in this area here. Okay. You know, in the pad here, the little thing of going into the hand. So as you're coming through, I, I really am, I always advocate a light grip in short game, as you probably know, but in the rough, I really want to, with the left hand here, get tighter, helps me hold the loft on the club. Okay, so yeah. Definitely through that. Yeah. You set okay. up to a bit more on your left. So a bit open. Yeah, that's it. Try a bit, a bit more this way. Right on there. Does that feel different? It does, yeah. Okay. More that way with the face. I think it'll be brave. There we go. Okay. Now, down the grip a little bit more. Tight here. Right, that's okay. great. Okay. That is great, right? That is fantastic. And now, then to yeah. feel the release, am I going finish, like release one for this one or? A... Well, I think, I, think, I think we'll try and get it softer. So we'll yes. do a two, but okay. you can do it from this setup. Okay. You can't do it from the old setup. No, okay, perfect. Right, we go. Go, go, to the top, go to the top of the swing. Okay, hang on. Just try and get your left wrist a little bit more cupped. Okay. Okay, now as you come down, you can come down. Because of the back swing, you're coming down steeper. You put a little bit of a late release in there. Okay. Okay. But you've got to stay left the whole time. And cupped. You must cup. You you do tend to get a bit. That I do. Way, right? Yeah. Which then again, off off the fairway lie, it's not the end of the world. You can play right. a low running shot in the rough if you do that. If you flex the wrist and the loft goes down, it's going to tend to grab a lot. Okay. So that yep. cupping. Yeah. I guess it feels. Yeah, like the. Th that's not even it, is it? That's Thumbs it. are. That's it. That's it. So to get to there. Yeah, that's it. And then just hit, okay. I want you to hit, the golden rule when you're in a rough like this is you don't hit the ball first. Okay. Okay, you've got to hit about an inch behind it, okay? Right, that's great. That's really good. There okay. we go, right. Hinge it, hit, pop it just behind the ball. Right, that Ooh. came off really soft. Okay, there Too we go. soft. <laughs> no run on it. But that's the type of, that's, well, that's the, the type, one if I've got a type run here for this okay. shot. Yeah, you don't want to run if you try and play this high shot. You wouldn't run with doing more of that front hip release. Okay. Okay, great there. Don't open it too much, don't go crazy. Right, there we go. A little bit of hinge. Get some release oh, at the bottom. Done it again. They're coming out lovely. <laughs> they, I mean, I, would, I will take those because most of the time I'm in a tighter spot than yeah, exactly. having lots of green. But don't okay. really, so, so look, if you were just trying to hit that shot 10, 12 yards, you've just played a world-class shot. Okay. The rest of it, you've got to feel it. Yeah. It's coming off softer now, so you've got to increase your speed. Okay, right? wow. Okay, over here. Bit of forward lean of the shaft. Like that. Okay, okay. So it's almost like feeling like it's on that front because leg. Yeah. Right, set it early, so that release at the bottom, feeling? have a bit more chest speed uh, okay. through it this time. Very good. Now that's what you want. So it's carried, it's landed yeah, soft. Yeah, that's nice. And it's not running very far. No, I like that. Yeah, that's very good. You played that really well. Thank you. So I think that's one thing throughout. It's getting confident with the chest as well, yeah. releasing the chest yeah, through yeah, it. Because yeah, I think absolutely. that sometimes I can Stall go out. slower with mm. that so the hands take mm -hmm. over. Okay. Should we do a, do a front hip release, like a motor of a, of a running shot out of the rough now? 
Okay. So you set up exactly the same. Exactly the same. Nothing a changes. Bit open. Just a touch open. Shaft lean. Shaft lean, absolutely. Yeah. And now, same thing from this setup. You're going to hinge the club a little bit earlier to create, get the steel protected with the rough. But this time, you're going to finish more like this. You're still turning okay. the chest, but you're finishing more this way. Okay. So it's a front hip release, and this ball is now going to come out a little bit lower, but hopefully run to the back pin. Okay. All right. So when you've got green to work with at the rough, it's more that finish. If you've got the shorter one, you've got to go over something, yep. you put more of that, that okay. second release in, okay? So wait on this side, a bit of shaft lean. That's really good there. Hinge, but front hip release this time. We want a slightly lower, more running shot. Good. So now watch this all land and watch it run out. So you're supposed to run out a little bit more. Great shot. You played that brilliantly. <laughs> Take these to the course. You play that brilliantly. Yeah. But what okay, you understand in you. it, it's one setup. Yes. And you just change your swing a little bit, depending on the slope and how much green you've got to work yeah, with. I yeah, I think that's been the challenge from the get-go is I feel if you if you don't know this setup, yeah. in your mind you think, well, I'm trying to play this shot, but you're going against the tide almost. You mm. can't, you mm -hmm. know, if you've already scuppered yourself. Yeah. Now, okay. if we're going for this front pin, okay, so okay. There's, there's hardly any green. You still sit to a 54. It might be easier with 58, uh, but we'll... Uh, I have you got a 58? I have, yeah. yeah. Just, let's use a 58. Here, you're going to play it exactly the same way. We do need some release into this to soften it. Okay. But get super wide now. Go even wider. So I want your hands to get lower. Point the loft more up. So would this feel like I'm more playing a bunker more shot bunker almost? More bunker shot, so like, 100%. Okay. That's it. We'll keep the right leg in. Leg in, yeah. yeah. That's it. Good. Now set the club nice and early with the wrists. And you're coming down. And it's there. Okay. You feel that? Yeah. There's not much rotation of the, of the upper body here. It's, it's more of a hand and arm shot. Okay. So set it, release it. Okay. okay. Nice and narrow in the follow through. There you go. Oh, what a great shot. Go in. Oh, wow. So Thank you've you. got some solutions there for different lines. Yeah, and it's just brilliant. so easy to practice. And when you do practice that, I would just throw the balls over your shoulder in a rough. Yeah. And just look at each one and react to it. And then you See. just learn how to do the subtle differences in, in, your, in how you set your weight and how you... And put the angle of attack into it. Well, that's Brilliant. good. And yeah, Thank lots you, of work Dan. on it. It's a great part of the game. There's no such thing as a bad lie, okay? Nope, nope. I know that now. <laughs> Thank you. All right, pleasure.